It's awesome because kids have come up to me or, or texted me that they do notice something different about me, whether it's just how I'm always smiling, always happy. Even coaches have wondered, you know, what, what's unique about you? And, and when you get asked that or, or you know, what is it? it? It can be a little intimidating at first. And all these things that have been happening um, in my circumstance with, with the University of, of Southern California, with our, our sanctions, not being able to play in a bowl game, um, you know, our, our head coach leaving and, and all this, these things that have happened, people have wondered, you know, why haven't you freaked out? Why, why haven't you left? Why haven't you transferred? But as much as football defines me by this world, it, it doesn't define who I am as, as a person. I love playing football, but I'm definitely not the best athlete on the field. Since I was little, I had a John Elway poster up in my room. Always wanted to play quarterback. I think God gives talents differently to different people, and, and he'll use those, uh, those talents in different ways. God has really given me a mind to comprehend different things, and it has helped me on the football field of, of seeing angles, seeing the ways that plays develop, seeing defenders move in a certain manner where I know where they're gonna be. But it's 11 men, every snap, doing the exact right thing to make a play work. I know I'm not in control. God's, God's working a, a huge plan right here, and um, I think if you stay true to yourself and, and you work hard and you put that work in, then it's gonna pay off. I have definitely seen uh, the power of prayer in my life in a lot of areas. In our, in our crazy life in this society when there's so many things going on, so many different areas that, that can pull you to, to different things, um, is finding peace and quiet to be able to talk to God is something I found that can be very rewarding. And it's just like any relationship that you have with a friend. If you want to get to know them, if you want to grow closer to them, you have to spend time with them. And I think by, by getting closer to Christ, you just have to talk to them, and, and that's through prayer. Being a Christian at my school is, uh, is special because there, there aren't too many. At USC has the most international students uh, of any school in the world. And so there's people from every walk of life that you can imagine, from all over the world. And it's been neat to see over the last couple of years since I've been there, a movement of, of college students grow to love God and, and to follow Him more closely. And we know that that God is in control. I absolutely think God has placed me where I am and made me the person who I am to be in the position where I am. And the platform that I have as the USC starting quarterback is something that I've always dreamed about playing, playing football and, and being that guy. But only recently have I realized the, the power of that position. And to see the USC quarterbacks of the past and, and how they've grown up and, and the influence that they've had on people. And now that I'm in that same position, how can I use that for God's kingdom? I think leaving my mark at USC, not only as a football player, but as a man of God who brought USC through, through troubled times and, and relied on God and trusted in Him to make things happen, I think will be better than any game we could ever win. My name is Matt Barkley, and I am second.